am avut ocazia să-l întreb pe proaspătul prim-ministru Trudeau ce părere are despre, evident, multiculturalism. La vremea discuției noastre, Justin Trudeau era un simplu deputat liberal. From the mostly right-wing media, let's call it like that, um, one idea that multiculturalism is a kind of kind of, kind of old and uh, you know faded um, idea, and they're talking more and more about the melting pot, American melting pot um, option. What about that? Like, is it uh, is there anything true in that uh, statement? I think the melting pot uh, is a terrible idea. I think it doesn't fit Canada. I think Canada uh, is being the, the example and the solution for the world uh, by showing that we can get along uh, even though we're very different. That we define our identity by values, not by you know, background or skin color or anything else. Uh, and to try and pretend that somehow all Canadians can become a melting pot um, is not understanding Canada in its, not just its recent history, but its entire history. Canada was built on a fault line between French and English, heavily influenced by uh, the Aboriginal Canadians who showed the French and the English how to survive in this country that was too big and too, uh, too cold. And a big part of that, surprise, uh, of, of that surviving was being open to others and learning and being there for your neighbors. So we have a country that even though it was built on these fault lines, from the very beginning couldn't define what a typical Canadian was or looked like. Um, and, and every succeeding generation and wave of immigration has shown different Canadians who look different but who all share the same values. And I think that focus on values uh, is something that is contrary to, to, to the melting pot where everyone's supposed to look the same and sound the same and consume the same kinds of culture, uh, cultural elements. And you know, I mean, Yes, there are things that bind Canadians. I mean, most of us love hockey. Uh, you know, most of us you know, enjoy you know, maple syrup or, or you know, don't mind the winter too much from time to time if we're properly dressed for it. I mean, there are things that bind us together. But I will tell you, multiculturalism as it was defined 40 years ago uh, is no longer the multiculturalism that applies today. Multiculturalism 40 years ago was getting people to tolerate differences, being a country of tolerance. Absolutely, and 40 years ago we needed a little tolerance. We needed to, for people to understand that it was okay to, you know, to have you know, neighbors of different, different backgrounds moving into your neighborhood. It wasn't something that was scary. I'm sorry, we've moved a long way forward from them. We've gone away from, you know, you know, putting up with people despite their differences to being actually embracing them. You know, how many, you know, I schools in the Toronto region or in across the country, you know, where everyone of every different background celebrates the Diwali festival? How many different communities, uh, you know, know what Ramadan is and respect it in, in, its, in its articulation and, 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 you know, understand that this is realities that different communities are going through? There is an understanding that there Well, you could either say there is no mainstream anymore uh, when you think of sort of the white Canadians, but you could actually say that the mainstream is now what you see around this room and what we see in our cities. So yes, multiculturalism is an old idea that has evolved, but it's evolved into something absolutely extraordinary.